Hello. Um, I'm sorry I've been putting this off for so long, but I'm finally making it, so... Hello, this is the Reserve Movement Guide. The reason I'm doing this on Reserve is just because Reserve has, like, most of the ways that you can outplay a lot of uh, people and squads, so... It's kind of the best way to showcase how I really move on almost every single map I play. And a big disclaimer, a lot of the ways I move is to abuse vertical audio. Uh, because the vertical audio is so fucking bad. Can, can we please fix the fucking vertical audio? Anyways, cut the bullshit. Let's just get into it. Uh, reserve movement guide. Gang, let's go. Okay, so before we start, some little prerequisites. Um, one, windows are your best friend. A lot of people that play this game have a very linear way of thinking, aka there's one way in, one way out of a room or a building, when in reality there is so much more things you can do with uh, a lot of the movement in this game, which is why I stay on it even though it has its downsides. But a lot of the ways I move involves windows and holes that you can go in and out of uh, to outplay your enemies and skip audio cues, all that shit. Okay, so second, I didn't really show a lot of locations in this video. Um, I'm gonna put a map up here in the screen of where I usually PvP. All the places I don't PvP on this map are gonna be highlighted red because either A, they're boring, B, it's not fun to PvP there, or C, there's just not people there in general. Okay, and third of all, the way I'm gonna be doing this guide is I'm gonna be going through every single building in the map that uh, I usually PvP in, and I'm gonna try and find clips that go along with what I'm showing you. But sorry if I don't have some clips for some of the moves that I'm showing, um, I just don't have them or I can't find them. And finally, and the most important, please, please, please always remember to be painkillered. If you wanna be a good movement player, you always have to be painkillered. Because with a lot of things you're going to be doing, you're going to be breaking your legs, you're going to be blocking your legs, and you don't want to get caught in a fight with broken or black legs. It's it's not fun. <laughs> Alright, cut the bullshit. Let's get into it. Yes, sir, ski. So starting off with the night buildings here, we're in White Knight. Um, unfortunately, due to the building being pretty small, there's not a lot you can do. But some of the moves I'm about to show you can really make that difference with fighting a big squad. So, like I said, windows are your best friend. You're going to want to utilize them as much as possible, especially in big squad fights. Uh, here's an example of one jumping out the second floor window onto first floor It's a pretty obvious one, but if you're quick enough with it You can catch somebody off guard for sure and another one is that third floor hole People don't really use it because they're always scared of breaking or blacking their legs Here's one thing about movement. You can't be scared of breaking or blacking your legs It really limits you and what you can do and the moves you can make so uh, make sure you're always taking advantage of that uh, people don't really expect you to do bigger jumps. Now here's a little move I've killed a lot of people using. Um, if you can get the audio cue that you're on third floor, they know you're on the roof or on third floor. If you jump off this ledge onto the door, onto the ledge of the door, and you run in here, you can really catch somebody off guard. They won't expect it for sure. Now here's a move that doesn't really involve fighting in White Knight, rather using White Knight to get on top of Long Garage. Um, by making this jump, you can catch people fighting over at... Uh, the mechanic building to the right or uh, get on top of somebody who's in long garage really catch them off guard they don't really know where you are they'll probably think you're in front or in back when in uh, reality you're on top of them so moving on to the black knight it's uh, almost a carbon copy of white knight but it has a little more ways in and out of the building which i do like uh, i do like fighting in here a little more here's a little trick you can use to get from second to first pretty easily and skip the audio cue uh, you can jump out of this window, go directly into the bathroom, and you can just sprint peek, eagle really fast, and get a peek on somebody. And uh, here's another little move, really similar to White Knight, but a little more tricky. Uh, you get a run boost onto the sandbags, get on top of the door, and you can get to first floor and peek somebody. Now this is a good one. If you uh, ever run into people that are double holding the, the stairway, you can get on top of this truck and you can actually see both sides of the hallway and you can pretty easily get kills on them both. Moving on, uh, this is crown, queen, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I really love fighting in this building, there's just so many options you can do. Starting with the outside, you can actually bait somebody to run around this corner and peek you and you can get on top of these tents or on top of the tarp and you can get a free kill. And following up in a similar situation, if they're outside and you're inside, you can actually get on top of this railing on these stairs and peek out these windows and uh, go ahead and spray them and kill them through these. 
I don't know, this is one of my favorite ones in the whole guide. It just feels so satisfying to do this like mid fight. But if you get on top of the boxes and jump on top of the tent, you can end up on top of the tent. You can jump to the second one. Uh, you can use this against anybody who's pushing through the doors, or you can look out and kill anybody in the window trying to hold you from that building. This is a pretty sneaky one. If you're coming in through the opposite side of the building, like the front side, you can get on top of the sandbags and actually jump on top of the ledge in front of the door and uh, get in through the second floor window. You can really catch somebody off guard with this one. Now staying on the second floor, if you go to the right side here, open this door and jump on top of these green crates, you can get a pretty nasty angle on anybody who's trying to push you through that little corridor from gym. Following that window rule, you can actually jump out this window and jump in through this window on first floor and pretty quickly you get a rotation in. And again, with the same window, if you're coming from the outside, you can b hop on top of this bench and skip the audio cue of you actually going through the window, which is pretty sick. Now coming through the third floor of the building, we have another pretty nasty one. If you jump out this window and get on the ledge of the roof, you can land on top of the door and uh, without breaking your legs and swing somebody. They will never expect it, I promise, I promise. The last one for the crown building, if you uh, get on top of the metal roof, the highest one, you can actually run over to the edge here and if anybody's sitting in the garage, you can get on top of the store and uh, drop down and you can catch them off guard pretty easily. Alright, now moving on to White Bishop, I fucking hate fighting in this building. If you fight in this building, you're, you're a savant. <laughs> I absolutely hate fighting here. I usually tend to just run underground like this and kind of just abuse the vertical audio, but if it comes to it, I have a couple moves you can do here. This is a pretty fun one to do, um, by running up these stairs and jumping off at the right time, you can actually avoid the metal sound cue uh, and catch somebody off guard who's sitting in this wood room. I don't know why, but people just absolutely love to sit in this wood room and I hate it. I hate it. Here's another little cheeky peek you can do. If you run all the way to the right side, go into this room here, jump out this window, and land on top of the sandbags. You hit the tree, unfortunately, but you can get a nice quick peek into wood room. And yet another peek into the wood room. Uh, you can jump on top of this bench, on top of the sandbag, and skip the metal queue once again to peek into the wood room. People don't really expect it. And taking that exact same route, if you jump on top of the red trailer and come over here to the sandbags, jump on top of those, and on top of the tent, you can get onto the roof. You can do anything you want with this. You can jump off the roof, jump in through a window, do anything you want. Um, it's a good little play. Alright, now moving on to Black Bishop or School. People have a million fucking things they call this, but uh, in the calf, you can jump in through that window and catch people off guard. And another way into the building is this wood ramp. You go in and sprint up into it and jump, and you can actually kill people pretty quickly by doing this. And uh, if somebody is sitting in that back room, that back right room, you can get on top of this green barrel and get us a peek in there. And with that same window, if you get on top of the roof, onto this ledge, and land perfectly onto the wood, you can actually sprint in. And this one is very subtle, but holy shit is it useful. A lot of people don't really tend to look here. If you're trapped in here and you're fighting like a fuck ton of people, peeking over this little wood piece could actually get you so many kills. You, you, you trust me, trust me, trust me. It's so useful. And now moving into the actual school or black bishop, whatever you call it. Um, this is another one of my favorite places to fight. First thing, you can jump out of the second floor window onto the roof. So many different plays you can make with this. You could uh, go back to first or you could look through the window and kill somebody coming up the stairs. You can also do this from the windows I'm looking at right here. Uh, really nice play. Like I said, this works same for the other side. A lot of people really go to the third floor to jump into this uh, drop down room, but people don't really expect you to come into the second floor, so you can get somebody off guard if they're sitting in there. And uh, just like I'm saying for the millionth time, windows are your best friend. Use all the windows, use all the holes in the building that you can get in and out of. Um, and don't be scared to break or black your legs. Like I said again, um, it's it really limits you. And, and for example, this third floor hole, you can jump out. It actually leads you directly into the first floor window and you can get a nice rotation and a quick pick on somebody.
Ooh, you stupid bitch. And moving on to our last building, aka my favorite building, Black Pond. This is, in Apex, you have the streamer building on uh, World's Edge. This is, this is my streamer building in Tarkov. But uh, first things first, come up here, jump out this second floor window. You can actually get onto the ledge on top of the door and you can kill anybody uh, that you baited into running up the stairs. All right, now this drop right here, if there's any move that works 100% of the time, it's this right here. You come to second floor, jump out this window, you can either peek somebody like that or you can drop onto the ramp. It is the freest kills you will ever get, especially on people sitting still. Trust me, try it, you will not regret it. Now obviously I'm not going to go through every window that you can jump out of because the options are endless but, but I'll go through specific ones like this one right here on second floor. It's a pretty nice peek that you can get onto people who are sitting outside in the back of the building. Now on the marked side of the building, if anybody's sitting in that bathroom with the hole in the wall, you can actually run up to third floor, break this uh, window in the bathroom and you can jump directly down onto the bathroom and you can get a pretty free kill. And the same thing applies on the other side of the building uh, with the room that's pretty much in the same spot as the bathroom. You open this door on second floor, jump out the window right above the hole, and you can kill anybody sitting in there. Now this jump is a good one for anybody who's A, sitting in that bathroom entrance, or B, just walked in. You run all the way up to third floor, jump out this window, and you can uh, angle yourself to get perfectly peeked onto the bathroom. You can kill anybody sitting in there. And here we have the last location on the map that I like to PvP in, and that's obviously D2, and um, this is a pretty gross one. <laughs> so when you come down from Crown, you can actually jump on top of that box, onto this little power box, and onto the door. And people usually think you just run past, uh, and they'll usually come chasing, and it's a pretty nasty kill. And for the final move in this video, um, if anybody's pushing me from left or right side of D2, I usually tend to uh, run back here towards the water. I would jump on these pipes to the right, jump onto the locker, and uh, swing the peak. Usually people will peek that and think that they have a free kill because they think you're in the water. So it's a pretty tricky one. That was pretty much all I wanted to show you guys today. Um, obviously I didn't show every little specific thing. I just wanted to show specific things which I use on a daily basis. Obviously with the things I showed you today, the possibilities are endless. And I hope you guys can come up with your own creative tricks. If you guys do end up getting some nasty kills with some things you learned from this video, send me some clips, join my Discord, I would love to see them. But, all in all, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this guide. Um, I stream every day on Twitch. If you could, I would very much appreciate it if you could follow me there. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a good night slash day wherever you are at. And I'm out. Deuces.